Welcome back to the Gold Dust Diaries. I hope you'll enjoy a peek into my productive weekend. My intention is to also showcase five ways in which you can help dyslexic children to learn better or children in general. These same practices can help adults as well, especially during examination preparation. Just give it a try. Watch till the end to have a more comprehensive understanding. It's all about building brain connections. Cooking is an act of patience, mindfulness. It's an outlet for creative expression, a means of communication. It helps raise one's self-esteem. Okay guys, so what's left? Salt, water and... Already oh, put salt ready. Yes, well that is water and cooking oil. So, Wangai, can you put the water? You have to measure how many cups of water? One. Good. Well done, no spillage. <laughs> uh uh, Freddy, let's be happy when others do. <laughs> Just a little water that's still there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze all of it. And someone is still fighting with her with her bottle of syrup. Are you enjoying your syrup? <laughs> Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who made it? Girls! Girls! Boys! Girls did this. We did it together, oh, guys. Did. Boys and girls. Are you a girl? Yes, I am. You guys, girl. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. What are you doing? You're watering the garden. You're watering the garden. What are you doing? Watering. You're just holding the horse pipe. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Let them know that participation is more important than outcome. Them being part of an activity and doing their best is more important than scoring with the best mark. And did you know that gardening can reduce stress, make you feel more energized and think more clearly? Many that suffer from anxiety or depression have found gardening and caring for plants to be incredibly beneficial. <laughs> Time spent in fun activities like coloring and skipping is not learning time lost. Coloring actually increases memory, learning and attention in both children and adults because it requires just enough brain activity to keep you from daydreaming but not enough to distract you. The most important thing is that it activates both sides of your brain. Left hand on right leg. Did you know that when you cross your midline in exercise, you get a boost in brain alertness, creativity and memory? Because you build brain connections between the two hemispheres, this exercises are called cross-lateral movements. Let's go. Like this. No, like this. This cross. I'm doing this cross every day. So, ah, cheat. So, I so, 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 so,
Exactly. Exactly. Take a kuno kumeke. All right. And now fold your hands in. Exactly. Just cross your legs. No, uh -huh. and then cross your legs. Uh, and then cross your legs, you know. Cross your legs. Like this. Uh huh. And put it out. And put it back inside. Put it back inside. In this video, we're really enjoying our exercises. And so, if you'd like me to demonstrate these more clearly, please let me know in the comment section below. Aditi, guys, so at any one time, you should have one gun. Aditi, guys. So this time, we're not to get such time each. Aditi, all side, you should be So, so that you remain with this gun. Can you see? Exactly. And then when I say switch, you put this one back up, then you put this one like this. You get it? Mm -hmm. On the letter C. R. Uh, on the letter R. No, how we see that? Can you step on the letter R? Good. That's the one. Can you tell us what's the sound? Can you give us a word? Red. Very oh. good. Well done. Yeah. You can take it. <laughs> okay. Freddy. Can you please step on the letter? Okay, just point to it. Don't step because your feet are dirty. On the letter J. The letter J. Very good. What can you give us a word? Huh? What's the le what's the word? Huh? Oh, jam. Good. You can take it. Juice. Okay. Pimpy, can you can you step on the letter D? Letter D. Everyone else, keep be quiet. No, that's not D. Can you point to the letter? Let's see. Very good. That's letter D. What's the sound? What's the word? Very good. You can take it. One guy. Uh -uh. Let's see. Why is your first letter? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Letter A. What's that? A. A N. No, that's not N. Think what it is before we come back to you. One guy, what's that you're holding? The first one. Ball. Can you spell ball? B. Uh huh. B-L-L -L. Huh? You left something out a Good, B-A-L-L, -L. well done Put it put it at the back So that you, you have already done that Well done Okay, so you guys give him some, some letters Please All of you give him two, two No, I use 
Okay. What's fun and give us a simple word, please. Uh -huh. Can you spell van? Can you spell van, please? Can you try? G. Mm -hmm. Freddy, it's not your turn yet. Uh -huh. Uh uh, there's no E. Sound the words so that you can know the spelling. Van. 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 Ah. Mm. So what are the what are the letters? V. Ah. Uh, mm. Uh huh. What is the spelling? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, simple. Well done. Freddy, give us your letter. Q. Uh huh. Good. Put it, if you have done it, put it at the back. Uh huh. Pimpy. Why are you losing your papers when it's your turn? All right, Tino, give us your letter. What's your letter? Boy. B for boy. Spell boy. B. B. Uh huh. B. Oh, E. So what's the what's the letter? B. Oh, E. 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 Uh huh. B O V E. So do we? Huh? What's the letter? That was E. Y. Why? Good. This is mine. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us for this video. I hope that you've picked up something of value. Please do like, share and subscribe to this channel because I'd really appreciate it if you did so. See you in the next one.